you know, um, we got some speakers here. I want it for uh, locals uh, 371. A bunch of guys. <laughs> Sorry. You know, we got teachers here at CWA. We got a lot of local units in the area. I appreciate everything you guys did to come out here today. It's beautiful weather. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the message we have here, and I've been on the news, I've been uh, talking to the radio station. You know, we got a simple message here, and the message is. You know, in Buffalo area here, we're not second-class citizens. You know, we work, we work hard, we do the same thing they do in New Jersey, they do in, uh, in New York, where they have union stores. I told the uh, TV camera, I said, turn around and look at that truck. What's that truck say? That truck says shop right. What's the sign on the store set? The store says price right. They do that intentionally because all shop right stores are organized. 30,000 people, UFCW members and Teamsters, have jobs with shop right. But under the Price Right banner, they're operating on union. You know, this Wakefront company is the largest food co-op in the country. They have 43 members that own 217 ShopRite stores, and they have 37 non-union Price Right stores. They're also, not a surprise to anybody, like our, P, our, our, our uh, price choppers here uh, under Neil Goldup, they're also very, very active in destroying the Employee Free Choice Act. They don't want to get to the floor, they don't want it to get voted on, and certainly they don't want it to be legislation. Uh, I got uh, Joe Renzi, where's Joe at? Right here. I got Joe Renzi, I'm going to have Joe come up in a little bit and say some words. But for uh, some of the locals, the Teamster, CWA, some of you other guys that are here, uh, you know, we had a we had a situation where uh, they had a, a member, uh, I'm sorry, a, a prospective member, somebody who was very active and wanted to see the union in, and Local 328 in, in their stores in uh, Providence was speaking out with the D.C., correct, Joe, in a march uh, to support the Employee Free Choice Act. I'll tell you what Price Wright did. They cut his pay $3 an hour and they demoted him. Boo. That was the reward. So once again, this is a company that's hiding. In the meantime, these same people to make that decision will go down to New Jersey and sit with our locals in New Jersey and talk to them about what kind of breaks can you give me because our pension, we have a pension problem, we have a health care problem. Same company. So, you know, it, across this country, we've got to stop the double breasting. These employers are able to get away with this. And again, in Buffalo, the message is simple. We're not second-class citizens. We deserve the same wages. We deserve the same, the same benefits. Health care pension as workers in New York City, New Jersey, and everywhere else where there's a uh, shop right contract. So, Listen, we have some issues down in Rhode Island with this company. We have a good person, Joe Sorrentino, night crew chief, supports the union, wants the union at price right. And what happens to him when he comes out, stands at our picket lines, comes out, supports his fellow union members, have a union in his building, goes down to Washington, says he wants the Employee Free Choice Act, goes back to work, and what do they do to a man like that? They demote them, they cut them three dollars an hour. So what do we have to do? We have to go to the board, we have to file charges. But a good thing about all this is that in those charges, that board agent found that this company, Price Right, is intimidating workers, telling workers that if you talk to a union person, you might lose your job. If a union comes in here, we'll close stores down. I haven't seen these tactics be the Walmart tactics. This is unbelievable for a company that has union on one side, and they're going to sit here and tell us that you can't talk to a union person violating those workers' rights? This is a travesty in this country. This company needs a wake-up call, and we're going to do it. Hi, folks. I'll be real brief. Um, I think we're, we're here uh, from the Coalition for Economic Justice as part of a national group, Jobs with Justice, that's working with price right workers across the, across the country, primarily in the Northeast in Rhode Island, supporting those workers who are trying to form a union. Woo! And I think uh, our message today is pretty simple. It's that the price might be right, but the wages are wrong, and the respect for workers' rights is wrong. And we think that this is a classic example of why we do need a new national agenda. We need the Employee Free Choice Act so that we can organize in places like Price Right and folks can make a decent wage and we can have good jobs in our communities. So that's simple. And I think Minerva needs to become a member of Jobs with Justice. She has got the street. Thank you. Anyway, let me just say, my name is Jim Anderson. I'm with Citizen Action of New York, and we're all across New York, but I'm also chairman of the board for the Western New York Peace Center. And, and so I come out here wearing many hats. I'm also a, a deacon. You don't have to call me that. But it is the right thing to do to be out here and stand against injustice such as what Price is Wrong is doing. And right for us, for standing up for, for decency and standing up for fairness and standing up for good economic
civic engagement and standing up for our democratic rights. There's a problem whenever corporations or businesses anywhere on the planet can just pop up and undermine the citizens of those particular places and think it's okay. I'm glad to be out here in Georgia. You don't have to be a member of the union to know that this is the right thing to do. You don't even have to have a child to know that this is the right thing to do. We need to stand up everywhere we see injustice done. If you want to have real economic development in their community, you need to stand up. And if you're going to be a business and not do that, don't come here because we won't stand for it. It's just good for us to be out here, and I want to say keep the faith, stay strong, and um, and hey, for whatever, we, we won't back up. I'm with you all the way. Hi, gang! Hi, gang! Woo! I am Erie County Legislator Maria White, and I am very proud to be standing out here with you today for workers' rights. That's what we stand for, for workers' rights. Um, and before I, before I ran for office, I was the executive director of the Coalition for Economic Justice, as Allison mentioned, an organization called Jobs with Justice. And there's a very simple statement there. We don't just want any damn jobs, after all. What we want are jobs with justice. And that is, in fact, something that the American worker has fought for for nearly 100 years and something worth protecting. And that's where we get into the Employee Free Choice Act. That is why this legislation is so important to pass the Employee Free Choice Act. So while we are standing out here today for this issue, let us remember the big picture. Let us remember the Employee Free Choice Act. Fight for that. We fought for it at the Erie County Legislature. We passed a resolution in favor of the Employee Free Choice Act, and we will continue that fight. Keep up the good work. Thank you.